Hello everyone, so today let's have a chat about fluoride and patients, let's say they're asking you they don't want to have fluoride or they want to uh, have fluoride applied on their teeth or they want to be fluoride free and what is the worst thing you can respond with and what is the best thing to respond with that. First for credibility, my name is Khaled, I have been a dentist for 20 years. I run my own dental practice, Lakeside Dental Spa in Half Bay in Queensland. And I talked from one chair to 10 chairs, from three staff members to close to 14 staff members over the course of uh, 14 years. And you can check my details below for credibility. If I have a patient on my chair, let's say you're doing your new patient exam or you're doing your hygiene appointment, and they mention that they want to be fluoride free, they don't want to take any fluoride, please do not apply any fluoride on my teeth, whether it's varnish or uh, any sort of uh, topical fluoride at the end of the treatment. The worst thing I've seen them doing is trying to lecture their patient and saying, hey, you, you or make them feel stupid like by that decision, saying that, you know, you're really doing the worst thing for yourself, you're gonna get a lot of cavities, you're gonna have problems, why are you doing that, that's so stupid or whatever. Even indirectly, their body language is start to like close down and be like their face just looked as if like they a bit half smile and being sarcastic in a way of the patient respond. And probably that is the worst thing you can do with your patient because they will lose trust in you and um, lose trust in you being the dentist. What I like to say, what I like to, to tell my patient is look, it's, I will completely support you with whatever you decide. I just, my, my role is to let you know of a few facts. You might agree with them, you might dis disagree with them, that's okay, I completely respect that, but I just have to potentially address it with you so I can do my part in that because you're coming here to seek my services. So number one, I'm, I'm happy to not apply any fluoride as long as you understand that your risk of getting cavities will be higher. And also, if you're willing to come every six months so I can check your teeth and, and make sure you don't get any more cavities or your, your care's risk is stable, then again, I'm happy to do that for you as long as you're willing to do that part. If they start to like um, have this option where, or this situation where the patient have very high cares index. So let's say typical um, parents with a child, the child have three or four cavities and you recommend some oral hygiene measures, you recommend some fluoride treatment and fluoride treatment at home as well. And the patient is very resistant with the parents saying, look, you know, we are fluoride free, it's a talk. And the, being like um, concerned about the toxicity or they read somewhere that fluoride is actually a toxin. I don't wanna apply any toxins in, uh, on my child's teeth. Again, I don't want you to lecture them or make them feel stupid. I think you should have a bit of empathy and understand they are exposed to certain information that affected their decision. And I will tell them, look, if I wanna, I like to agree and shift the focus. I want to jump in their boat and try to steer it away if I can. So I want to agree with them and being genuine as well. Look, I agree with you. Fluoride, as many other chemicals, could be considered a toxin in certain levels. I completely agree. Even in high levels can cause fluorosis and other problems. Saying that, um, if, I, if you can guarantee as well that your child's diet will be free from a lot of toxins and his environment will be free from a lot of toxins, I'm happy to agree with you. So for example, high sweet diets or super refined carbohydrates or anything that's causing those cavities is a toxin in, my, in the way I see it. And I have to fight this with another toxin like fluoride as well. So if you guarantee you're gonna change the behavior of your diet, the behavior of, of the lifestyle and, and fix those cavities of course and come back every six months, maybe three months initially to make sure that your care level is stable, I will agree with you, there's no need to put fluoride. But however, Let's say I agree with you, I fill those four cavities and you promise to change a lot of certain things in your lifestyle and the diet especially and how your child is eating and what times he's eating certain things and you come back and there are cavities. I think it's only fair to have a different discussion because you're not doing what's best for your child then. So I'm trying to agree with them. Yes, it's a toxin, but also we're using it to fight other potential more harmful toxins like sucrose, glucose, like any high refined carbohydrates that's causing the cavities. And if you can control that, we can stop giving you fluoride. But if you can't, and we're still getting a lot of cavities, then I don't think you're doing the right thing by your child, you know, like, so I'm trying to get them to think a little bit different, that's all. This seems to be work, work with a lot of patients. I, I put the responsibility on them, that's of the change that's required. And I've seen some good results with that. Some patients still will stay fluoride free for fluoride free for a long time, but they change their lifestyle, they change their behaviors, they change how they feed their children, what times they feed them certain foods. They, 
they focus on mechanical cleaning as well and, and just, just watching more their lifestyle a bit differently and their cares index uh, or cares weight has lowered and their cares risk has lowered massively as well and I'm okay to support them with that. Um, but anyway, that's, was, that, that, I want to share with you my answer and how I answer patients on that. If you find it helpful, make sure you like it and share it with your friends and colleagues. If you want to hear more about my videos, please subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified when more videos are released. Thank you so much for listening to me. It means a lot to me.